I really like robotics, be it space robotics, aerial robotics, underwater robotics. Previously, I have participated in NASA competitions building Mars rovers, lunar rovers, underwater ROVs. Actually, when the pandemic uh, came in and the lockdown was announced, I actually thought I would, it was time for some vacation. However, life had different plans for me, right? If you can like, you know, help with the crisis, then you should uh, use your engineering skills for it. I did a few iterations, everything was closed, there was, it was too difficult to find parts, but I built up a food and medicine delivery robot. We showed it to a couple of hospitals. How can we reduce the exposure of our healthcare workers for trivial tasks so that we are freeing them up for more crucial tasks? There are like three main uh, devices on that arm. The first one is a temperature monitor, which uh, senses the temperature of the, the person, the patient. The second is the heart rate monitor, and the third is the oxygen monitor. So whenever the patient puts the finger in, the, the, the doctor is able to remotely see it in a safe location about the vitals of the patient. That nozzle actually spreads disinfectant. So essentially, like uh, all the uh, uh, healthcare workers who actually also have to do the cleaning, right? The cleaning, disinfection every few hours. The, the mouth or the nose, which you can see in the, the, the face of the robot, is actually a camera. So that camera is for navigation and also for seeing the patients from a distance. Let's not just have a tablet for a doctor and patient talk, but let's also use it for connecting them to their relatives. Whenever a patient, like a critical patient with comorbidities, has the heart start sinking, and gets a cardiac arrest. They try to attempt to revive the patient by giving them CPR for 20 minutes. So I thought, okay, let's try and see if we can like automate that process using a machine. So I'm like, okay, let's build a CPR machine. This was India's first automated CPR machine. It worked. In fact, I deployed it a day before flying to the States for starting my grad school. I got a call from the doctor that, you know what, we used the machine for the first time and uh, the machine worked. The patient was sub it, the heart rate of the patient was in the sub-30s and the patient revived. These robots, which are built for ultra low cost, uh, the idea was to reach out the masses so that I can bring in a, a positive effect to more people's lives. And I think that's what engineers do and that's what the idea of engineering is. I would surely see myself doing working on some, uh, managing some space mission, maybe to Europa. Side by side, I also see myself helping third world countries uh, and pe reaching out to people for quality education and healthcare to so improve life on earth and then head out for space.